Yep, I'm definitely dead. Pause. This is me about to get eaten by a 500,000 pound sea beast. And you see that thing way up there? That's me getting launched across the ocean by a tornado. Regardless, you know what? I did not ask for this. I was just chilling, then a bird hit my plane, and next thing you know, my plane's going for a nice swim. I just wanted to have a peaceful flight, but instead here I am in the Bermuda Triangle. And let me say, this place is so easy to survive and yeah, totally so easy. I mean, just about every day there are massive tornadoes that come right for me. And you know what's even better than that? They have sharks in them. But if that wasn't easy enough for you to survive in, here there's ghost pirates. Come near one of those ships, and the next thing you know you're wishing there's a sea beast there attacking you. Here, it is so easy to survive because it's basically impossible to survive. So having lost the fear of death, I just started not caring. I jumped off a 1000 foot cliff and this felt normal to me. I swam in front of a megalodon just so I could name a jellyfish and this felt normal to me. I even mined bedrock with a shovel and this felt normal to me. In this 100 days, I become a true Florida man, build a giant ship and discover the lost islands hidden within the Bermuda Triangle. Will I survive or be lost at sea for good? This is 100 days in the Bermuda Triangle. Day one, here I was all alone. But then I spotted a ship in the distance. Guys, we are we are saved on day one. Would you look at that? Hopefully there's some friends on the ship. Yeah, what in the world is that thing? Is that a great white right there? Of course, there's a jellyfish, of course. Yeah, I forgot to mention, jellyfish are here and there are a ton of these things. With half my body paralyzed, I managed to swim and find a shipwreck. Bruh, it's taking 10 years to break this thing. After a long struggle, I managed to break some wood, make some tools with sticks, and then started drowning. I'm dead. I can't breathe. <laughs> Yep, yep, totally, totally drowning there. In life, there comes a time where you have to take a risk. So I dove down and searched for an air pocket. And that's what I found. Bro, right, okay, that was too close. I almost died on day one. What's up, fish? This place is actually looking nice down here. After nearly dying, I swung a pickaxe at stones for the night. And somehow, I found some frozen chicken down there as well. You know, why is there chicken down here? You know what? I'm not complaining. Free, free chicken? Okay, I'll take it. And while I was mining, I found the sponsor for today's video. Big thanks to Dragon City for being the sponsor of today's video. If you haven't heard of Dragon City, this is an epic free-to-play game where you can collect a thousand different dragons and build your own dragon empire. I mean, why, why would you not want to build your own empire? Especially with dragons, like, come on. To get even more dragons, you can breed two to get a new one, hatch them, and feed them. You can train these dragons to make them OP, and then take them into battle and dominate. If you want to come out on top, you'll need to collect food, gold, and gems to expand your city and unlock new levels. Also, there's always stuff going on. Each week, there's several events and also a battle pass to discover where you can unlock new rewards and get new dragons. But you know what's even crazier? There are YouTubers in this. You can get a socks for one dragon along with Dream, George Not Found, and Wisp dragons. That Dream dragon is looking pretty sick, not gonna lie. So what are you waiting for? That's the real question here. This is some top tier stuff and it's free. Click the link in the description to download Dragon City and get a special free reward of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and a very rare black metal dragon. Big thanks to Dragon City and now back to surviving in the Bermuda Triangle. When I rose to the surface in the morning, you know what was surrounding me? Sharks. A lot of sharks. Wow, isn't this great? I, I am dead. Wow. That, that, that's great. Nice knowing you. But then I had a revolutionary idea. I crafted a boat. Why did I not think of this earlier? I finally got a taste of freedom and then remembered there was the green ship. I got some wood left over from a nearby shipwreck and ended up finding a chest with a golden apple in it. I threw some fish in the furnace and ate the golden apple. Okay, what the heck is that thing? That is a big dolphin. Okay, hopefully over here we'll find some friends. This ship has people on it. Hey, are you guys, you guys subscribed? Yeah, I, I don't think they're subscribed. I got closer to the boat and that's when I realized these people were pirates. So you know what I did? I gave them a taste of their own medicine. I just borrowed from the rich and, and gave to the poor. But you know what? Not all treasure is gold and diamonds, believe it or not. I wanted to take the greatest treasure, the captain's hat. I waited till dusk to make my attack and listen to what Sun Tzu once said, appear weak when you're strong. So I held out a chicken leg to attack my enemies. But little do they know this thing's been frozen for a whole millennia. I blocked and hit back until I was the last one left. Okay, that, that's just great. There's like 10 more. Of course, there's 10 more of these dudes. Oh, shoot. I, I'm, I'm out. I'm ahead out of here. There was so much of these dudes, but I managed to take out the captain. And finally, I took out the rest of the pirates and was spoiled with the riches. I'm telling you, this place was... Dang. Wait till you see this. Yo, we got... Look at all these diamonds. Oh my gosh. We are... Dang. Okay. 
I'll take it. The heck is the lost island? Yep, yeah, that sounds like we got a voyage ahead of us. And then I crafted a diamond pickaxe. Morning came and I mined the ship for the resources it had, then explored around a little more and found a treasure chest filled with diamonds and gold. But more importantly, I found a prisoner on the ship. Yo, what the heck? What are these pirates doing to this dude? What? He is a he's a fisherman. He's, he's just trying to mine his own business out here in the ocean. Some pirates just like picked him up for no reason. And that's when I came up with the idea to start a crew. Okay, this, this may have been a bad idea, not gonna lie. Okay, this this can be Larry right here. The first member of the crew. A true legend. This guy will go down in history, I'm telling you. I wasn't just a kid lost at sea anymore. Now, I was a kid playing dress up with a sword who forced someone onto my boat. We sailed the seas, coming across eels and sharks, and explored through crazy shipwrecks. I walked onto this one ship and felt like I just entered a scene in the quiet place. I crafted a diamond sword and then iron armor, and this happened. Okay, what the heck? I just got launched in the air. What the heck is that? Bro, what the heck is that thing? Giant sea beasts. Those are in this, and they are very deadly. I waited for it to go away and then returned to the ship. I fought off everything and almost died, but I remembered I was the main character, so I basically survived with one heart left. But uh, my crewmate Larry, on the other hand, uh, he got eaten on the first day, so uh, yeah. But besides that, I made it to the Lost Island. Turns out this wasn't any ordinary island, it was a hangout for the ghost pirates. And probably the worst thing I could have ran into, literally. But you know what I did? made lemons with lemonade but i wait you wait you can't do that oh shoot you know i took a couple steps onto that island and got shot okay well, bruh this this place is not safe yep nope i am leaving nope bruh half a heart i am literally i'm half i'm done for okay get me out of here this place is cursed i boarded a small ship and spent my time fishing because i was not dying today do you like rain i don't it started raining and i discovered i could mine sails which i could then use to make my very own ship yeah this discovery changed everything but yeah the next day there was a tornado kind of coming right at me what do you know look at this great weather out here today you know can't just be a nice chill day on a fishing boat a minute sooner this boat would be sky high right now i sailed away and waited for the storm to pass and then made my move yo we are sneaking onto this ship okay sneak level 100 dang look at all this stuff you know as i was doing this i felt a great joy getting back at the pirates for shooting at me for literally no reason you know i'd just been in a plane crash and that's the first welcome i get on an island I looted this ship day and night. I took all of the sails and the wheel to steer. Then I just left on the next day like nothing even happened. Oh shoot, there is a pirate there. Okay, uh, you did not see a thing. Dang, look at that dolphin jump, jeez. The heck? After sailing for the day, I ran into a small island where I could set up camp and build a boat. And that's when I discovered, dude, I suck. I suck at building boats. Why are boats so weird? Why? I was a terrible boat builder. I spent day and night working on this boat. I placed the flooring, then made more flooring, and made some more flooring. Yeah, yeah, I, I had no idea what I was doing, to be honest with you. Yo, look at this thing. Is that an act of war? What the heck? I think he's threatening me. Well, that just happened. I worked on the ship all day and all night, and things were fine. Finally starting to come together pretty well. I built the mast and placed the sail. Okay, why is the sail so annoying? Okay, I I'm done. I'm done. Well, I I'd say it's good. This is looking nice. Then it started raining on me. You know, I don't mind a little rain. I don't freak out over that. But when a whole tornado pops up in front of me, I got a bit annoyed. Bruh, all I wanted to do was build a boat. Just a boat so i could sail the seas yeah it seems nature had a funny way of saying i don't care about your problems you'll get through it after the storm the ship was finally complete i sailed throughout the day and came across another ghost ship yo we're lucky this ship is empty Jeez. nope definitely definitely not empty definitely not empty turns out during the daytime these things turn invisible so i had to rely on my intuition and took out the invisible pirates nighttime came and i took out the remainder of the pirates so I got to loot all the ship of its treasure. Hey, another member of the crew I see, okay. Yeah, yeah, if you knew what happened to the last member, he, he'd be running right now, terrified. After capturing the villager, I sailed the sea fighting ghost pirates for the rest of the day. And looting from these pirates was so easy, just felt wrong. I became the richest man on the sea very quickly. After voyaging across the sea for several days, I came across another island. Okay, we have found land. Okay, this could be this could be good or very bad. Jeez, this place is massive. What? The? Of course, there's a the giant pirate ship. Yeah, right when things are going good, I see a giant pirate ship. Nice, bro. Look at that sea beast. What what are you doing, man? Let's we're, let's pay it a visit. Okay, this this was a bad idea. Definitely a bad idea. The sea beast started doing this to me. I didn't know if I should be scared or confused. 
So I ran out of there and ended up getting mining fatigue somehow. And out here, found some normalcy with some natives living on the island. Oh, they have a library. Oh shoot, get books. What the heck is a <laughs> this a dinosaur bone guy? What? Bro, there better not be some ancient like creatures out here, man. I'm telling you. I tried mining the bookshelf, but I had mining fatigue, so I couldn't. And when I went back outside, it started raining. And then came across the pirate crew. Okay, these they're not attacking me. Hopefully these dudes are chill. Okay, definitely not chill. Definitely not no chill. They have why does no one have the rain started the pickup so i took cover in a village house and gathered some books you guys did not see a thing okay found an enchantment table got more books okay yeah they definitely saw me the next day i went back outside and fought the pirates i went to board their boat next thing you know i'm getting dragged away by a tornado the tornado ripped through the island as i sat and watched chilling in the ocean oh dang their boat is getting destroyed wow that sucks for them. No, not the dolphin. What? Bro, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. What? No, I am off the ground. This is not good. <laughs> this is terrible. Look how high up I am. Yo, what the heck? It's a it's a villager. No, he's a he's ascending. Look at this dude. He has reached a level no villager ever could. Bro, what the heck is that? Okay, okay. I am I'm in a simulation right now, I think. Okay, whales. Bro, it's literally a circus in the sky right now. The heck? are you doing after feeling like i hallucinated all that the storm started the pass and i made my way back to the shore okay i do not know what just happened though we, we have reached peak florida man status just now i was trying to get on my boat but it didn't let me and right below me was a giant shark i debated leaving but i really didn't like those pirates like nah so i crafted diamond armor and a diamond halberd and named my crewmate boatman because why not I, I i didn't know what else to name him to be honest and the next day it was war i made a diamond shield and killed a sea beast but this was only my I warm up i boarded the pirate ship and fought off all of them yo there is so much pirates oh my gosh okay nope nope not that dude nope you're not hurting me this is a whole lot of pirates oh nope. was not expecting this and finally we got the dub i explored around what was left of the ship and mined the sails so i could make my ship bigger the rest of the night i spent taking a nice walk around the island and yeah there can't be any peace no peace at all i got hit with fire okay what was that honestly i'm not even gonna question it anymore apparently this island has dangerous tribes on it as well which at this point i it, of course of course it does i waited till morning to see what was up there and they were waiting for me i wasn't the hunter i was the hunted and when i went to attack it did not go so well yo these guys took halloween to a whole another level why okay why i was forced to eat an enchanted golden apple how the tables have turned okay at least i'm not dead now their halloween was ruined and i got a free mask i found out what the point of the mask is the mask let me be undercover so thanos's son over here doesn't attack me but you know what he didn't need to anyway because there was a giant tornado coming right for me but i had a brilliant idea big dude versus tornado i broke the big dude's throne along with his ego so now we were on the same level and then i taught him the ways of water until he was flowing down a hill straight into a tornado of demise the next morning he dropped a mask i found washed up on a rock and having this thing allowed me to spawn tribal guys with their masks and just when i thought it was all over I saw this, bro. There, there is another one. Okay, this game hates me. <laughs> Why? And this time I had an idea. I am gonna make this guy a crew member, and that's what I set out to do. I took out some tribal guys so I get their mask, but this happened. Oh no, this is yeah, this is bad. This is bad. And the tornado is there. Okay, that's great. I had a horde of 20 tribal members attacking me, and there was another tornado on its way. So yeah, basically dead. I ran in circles until I lost them, and then took them out. I sat there talking about life with this chief guy, and I kid you not this guy was lifted up by the tornado this guy is actually flying what, what? <laughs> never would i have thought someone something this big could get lifted well well he is gone this, that dude, look at him oh if this guy falls the whole earth's about to go flat oh my he almost died what hey this guy has one hp oh my gosh this guy is a legend i built a boat and returned to my ship the next day to find it still intact somehow and i ventured out on my goal to make the big dude a crewmate the plan was to place rails and have the big dude make his way onto the ship with a cart but problem i needed a lot of iron so for the next several days i looted pirate ships fought through storms gunshots and the dangers of the sea i found treasures from iron to nether stars until i eventually made it back to the island i started placing blocks to the big dude 
and then place the rails for the rest of the day. And no, yeah, of course it didn't work. I, I should have seen this coming, honestly. I mean, he, he's over a thousand pounds and I'm putting him in like a little cart. I spent several days trying to find a way to get this big guy on a cart, but nothing was working. But there was still one way, water, and a lot. Over the next several days, I literally made a river, going from the big dude to the ship. And eventually, we made it. Oh my, finally. Okay, that was exhausting. Now we have another crewmate. Jeez. Our ship's like practically invincible now. Look, would you look at that? It is actually working. Okay. You know, there's something I really didn't realize. This is a ship and I could add absolutely anything to it. So I added an airship to the ship and had a new goal. Abduct cows. Find cows on the island, bring them onto the airship and fly them back to the boat. That was the goal. But first I gathered a ton of wood because why not and went to sleep. The next day I went outside and there the cows were waiting to be abducted onto a ship in the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, yeah, if they're lucky, they won't get caught up in any tornadoes, but that, so far, we're not doing so good with that. Okay, it's actually working. The cows <laughs> the cows are flying. I just realized if this, if I had pigs on here, it'd be a lot funnier. The cows have officially made it on the ship. And yeah, the next day, woke up to a nice sunset on a private island. No, no not at all. I woke up right next to a water spout tornado thing, like, heading right at me. Wow, of, of course. I, I'd expect nothing less uh, than a giant whatever that is coming right for me. I got away from that island and unlocked some powers. Turns out for seven gold blocks this big dude allows you to shoot fire everywhere i sailed for the day and tested out my abilities on pirate ships look at that right there oh my geez this is crazy after saving the villager and bringing it aboard this might have actually been the first smart creature i found this guy sprinted off my boat bro honestly i don't blame him you know imagine walking onto a ship and you see this i would be, i would be scared i'd jump off that boat too not gonna lie the next day i wanted to add some coral to my ship so i dove down fought off this thing drowned and in the end turns out you needed water to place coral. I sailed the sea for the day, dodging sea beasts, and found a small island. There is a farm here. I chopped the trees, mined some dirt, and the next day, of course, found a giant sea beast circling my island. I swam as fast as I could back to the ship, and now the sea beast was jumping. I, I do not understand these things. This thing just stuck around, so I decided to just ignore it and built an aquarium. The next day, I crafted some bookshelves, built the rest of the aquarium, and started on an area I'd later use for an enchantment room. Oh yeah, the cows. Forgot about those dudes. Started breeding them. And I kinda, maybe, accidentally put one in a cage. Hey, if I hadn't, he'd just fall overboard, so I, I basically saved it. Well, I went to drive away on my boat, but turns out the water just floated through the aquarium, so yeah, there went that. I was a person in need of wood, so I sailed the seas, getting stung by jellyfish, and finally found a shipwreck out here. I destroyed the ship as much as possible, and until I saw this thing looking at me. Whoa there, chill pal. Eventually the big snake ran away, so I went back on board and had the big dude do his magic. As I was sailing, I almost died to a jellyfish, forcing me to eat a golden apple. Right. No more dang jellyfish, these are so annoying. I'm on a boat, how am I even getting stung? I decided to do something productive and finally set up the enchantment room. Right, you know what, these things, they honestly, they don't even phase me anymore. I'm so used to these giant snakes. The next day, I repaired my items and made some designs around the enchantment room. Yo, this is looking clean. Wow, this is literally a ship with a whole house on it. I had it all, but I couldn't enchant. I needed lapis, so I dove beneath the sea, almost drowning, and mined, and mined, and mined, and mined a bit more. And I returned the next morning to enchant with the lapis I'd found. I got sharpness 3, fortune 1, and efficiency 3. And then I forgot if I take off my mask, the big dude will basically disintegrate me. So I tried enchanting it, and it didn't work out. I enchanted my armor, and was now shiny. I had to take out some cows so I could get leather to make wooden crates, which means I can get more cows on the ship. I set sail the next morning and came across another island. Okay, we have found land and we are crashing. Yep, I I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible captain. I got permission from the big dude if I could go on the island. And when I did, this place looked like something out of a fairy tale. This place had these little glow things and they were everywhere. I went around playing tag with a sword and was expanding the crew for every mask I got. Okay, why are these here? This place even had a farm and a giant creepy skeleton filled with skeletons. Bruh, chill. Okay, I have more important things to do right now. I was attacked from every angle and got trapped in a skeleton head for the day. And when I went outside, I became a professional mountain climber. Yeah, I broke ankles I didn't even know I had, but managed to keep walking until I found a cool pathway. Bro, you know this leads to something when you have fly traps everywhere. After getting eight and alive, I eventually found a mineshaft area that was filled with diamonds. Hey, let's go. You know, if my plane didn't crash, I'd just be on the couch right now somewhere. But now here I am becoming a billionaire stranded on an island. Okay, that is a lot of stuff. Jeez, shipwreck island. That sounds terrifying. But of course, everywhere I went, destruction followed quickly. A storm was right outside the island. Oh, it's a tornado. Oh, wait, shoot the boat. Oh, no, I'm getting back there. My boat got swept away by the storm. No, look at the cows. 
it's gone. Bro, the dolphins? Okay, they gone. But I've been trained for moments like these. I was in the middle of a tornado, but calm. It was like meditating during a rock concert. But eventually I kept swimming and found my ship. Those are the cows. Okay, they're floating. A dang jellyfish, bro. I can't, I literally can't see anything. Literally. There it is. Finally, finally. Yeah, this island is cursed. I am not going back. Hopefully this shipwreck island is better. I sailed away from the storm and found myself back in the calm waters where I could get a breather. Bruh. What? <laughs> what just happened? Why? Why does this happen to me? It was the next day and it was time to upgrade the ship. I crafted a steam engine that runs on coal. Yo, we are, oh my, we are flying now. Jeez. And we crashed. Of course. <laughs> of course we crashed. Besides that, I wanted to make a farm on the ocean. So I placed some dirt, placed the wheat, and then this happened. All right. Nope. I'm not dying today. These sea beasts are whack. Why? For the next several days, I sailed towards the shipwreck island, facing the harsh environment. Oh, shoot. We have made it. Goal for this? Don't die. Bruh, I, I have mining fatigue, of course. And you know, this island was actually looking really cool until I realized this was a maze. Bruh, really? Bruh, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm in Squid Game right now, literally. And it got worse. This thing appeared. All right, yeah, I'm definitely in Squid Games. Why does it get worse and worse? Never better. The dragon wouldn't stop fighting me, so I had to do it. Finally, bruh, these things are so annoying. But it was about to get even more annoying because there was a giant maze ahead of me. All right. Time to get lost. And there, there's zombies there. Great. That, that's just great. Please don't tell me. Uh, of course, there's giant plants in a maze. Well, of course there is. I spent the night exploring through the maze, fighting many, many plants. And of course, I got lost. You know, I could just build over this right now. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. Literally no idea. You know what? I am out of this thing, bro. I'm back at the beginning of the maze. I was getting real tired of this maze. So you know what I did? I went back on my boat, crafted a ton of TNT. All right. I, this maze is, this maze is, is done for. I'm taking out the maze. Well, that did not do much at all. Wow. So instead, I just lit the maze on fire. Oh, yep. Burnt myself. Okay, we are finally starting to make progress in the maze. Well, would you look at that? A platinum greatsword. Sounds pretty great. The next day, I chopped down some of a shipwreck and barely managed to escape without getting hit by a tornado. You know, am I lucky or unlucky at this point? I, like, I keep having tornadoes hit me. I caught my breath after sailing away, fed the cows, and spent the day just sailing out in the sea, questioning my life choices on how I got here. These dudes interrupted that time, so I showed no mercy. I tried to show no mercy, but I couldn't figure out how to park a boat. This thing isn't fair. Like, I can just, I can do this all day. I found another nether star, then a golden apple, and some more diamonds before returning to the ship for the night. The next morning, I fed some cows, tried planting a crazy plant, and fixed up my diamond items. But I had an idea. Since I had a nether star, I could make a beacon. And a beacon on a ship, that would be pretty OP. So today, I went mining, got myself some obsidian, stocked up on the lapis, and mined around gathering as much resources I could carry. The next day, I rose to the surface, smelted the materials I got, and crafted a beacon. I turned my emerald and gold into blocks, and built a pyramid. Boom, let's let's go. This is insane. Now we got resistance. The next day, I enchanted my platinum greatsword with sharpness three, and I continued to sail the ocean until I came across a giant shark. I summoned out the crewmates, and these dudes were scared. These dudes are scared of water, really. Okay, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be swimming with a shark, too, to be honest. I went for the swim and saw nothing. What the heck is that? Okay. A tornado then decided to attack me, so I returned the crew to their pokeball and got the heck out of there. Yo, look at this guy running in place. He fears nothing. The next thing I know, I woke up back at the pirate island. But this time, I had power in my own crew. Oh shoot, we meet again. This is the part, this is the part, I'm, I'm about to get revenge on these dudes. Oh shoot, that is a lot of pirates. Okay, nope. Boom, bam, bop. Howdy. Cue the dramatic music. I don't remember there being this much pirates last time. More and more pirates were coming out of nowhere, and the storm finally passed. But now, the pirates were invisible. Bro, what the? Bro, what just hit me? Invisible pirates. Yep, that's right. And went back to the ship because I had no food. I spent the rest of the day fishing, and I talked to the big dude. The next day, it was time to take over. Me and my crew dominated the island. Oh, shoot. That is a lot of pirates. Okay. Get them. Oh, hey, let's go. Yo, chill out. As I got closer to the building, there were tons of them. But we pressed on. Oh, get them why why are there so many of them jeez and finally i made it to the top yo that is a big treasure chest i was starving and ended up coming across a small house that saved my life this place had all the fish you could think of in some books we have done it look at all that treasure that was a dub the chest was filled with so many gold blocks and emeralds that it took the whole day to mine them all on the next day i explored around some hidden passages yo what the heck is this place but i really didn't find anything until i went into the skull okay why am i climbing into the skull this is okay that 
that looks kind of promising, not gonna lie. A map to Atlantis. Finally, some place that doesn't sound like it'll kill you. Yeah, I definitely spoke too soon on that one. Storm clouds started rolling in, so I got out of there before this could happen. Since I was basically a trillionaire now, I started to work on another layer of the beacon. Okay, yeah, I'm out. Not getting flung across the sea again. Nope. I sailed until I lost sight of the storm and worked on finishing up the beacon. It took the whole day, but eventually now I had a full beacon so I could have strength and regen on wherever I went. The next day I realized something. I had a ton of gems left over. So you know what I did? Made another beacon. Yo, I'm basically just like flexing at this point. This day, I sailed with the wind and swam with the sharks. I wasn't scared of the sharks because they were scared of me. I spent the rest of the day watching the sunset because tomorrow was going to be a day to remember. The next day, I started off my day blasting a sea beast with fire, which was basically at this point my equivalent to a coffee in the morning. But today was a great day, actually. You know, I made a friend. Yo, was that a seahorse? Oh, I am... Def I'm definitely getting a seahorse if that's a seahorse. No, come back. Yo, how is it going, seahorse? What's, that? What's a seahorse doing out here in the Bermuda Triangle? Okay, I'm naming this dude Jaborse the Horse. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Chill, Jaborse. Ch no, it was a shark. A dang shark, not Jaborse. Jaborse was the main horse. I ended up taking out the shark and cried an ocean of tears. I will never forget you, Jaborse. The next day, I got some sponges and tamed another seahorse, but they will never be like Jaborse the Horse. All right, this dude, hmm, what do we name this dude? Bluey. Ratatouille the buoy. That's what I'm naming them. Yo, look at how fast they swim. <laughs> what? This thing is like way faster than the ship. But unfortunately, it didn't let him on the ship. So once again, my happiness was short lived. The next day was very strange. I was sailing around like I usually do and found a sea beast on a ship just chilling. I don't know if these pirates thought they could one up me because they they definitely did. I was not messing with them. I got out of there. You know, and after sailing some more, I found an ocean monument. And turns out me and the sea beasts have a common interest. Destroying the little ocean monument people. I dove out into the water with a door and I took it out like it was another day at sea. I explored around the monument door by door so I don't drown. And these things were so annoying. After staying underwater, I realized land was more of my thing so I went to the surface and you know what was there waiting for me? Tornado, ready to throw me again across the ocean. But eventually the storm calmed down. Bruh, this storm better not kill me. Bruh, finally the storm is chill. Drowning was very annoying in this so I tried to get the respiration enchant so I could breathe underwater but with my luck I never got it. The next day, Tornado walked up to me, said leave. So I said make me and the tornado definitely did make me so I got out of there and just followed the map to Atlantis What in the world that is a lot of shipwrecks. I feel bad for those captains Maybe I'll find some friends out here I jumped into the water it turns out this place was the spot all wrecked ships drifted to what kind of sorcery is this fire doesn't disappear it Just burns you the sails were still attached to the ships So I looted them so I could make my ship even bigger. Well, I tried to loot them, bruh Why do I keep falling bruh? Are you serious? This is aggravating. This is so aggravating Why in the world is a horse swimming? Okay, that that is a lot of horses now why after several long days I got out of there with the sails and was falling apart mentally and physically. I sailed the seas again, going with the wind, and followed the map for several days, and eventually, I found land. Boys, we have made it. Atlantis is here. Okay, wow, this place, this place actually is pretty nice. I am impressed. Is that a mermaid? Oh my. I dove down into the water, and of course, there had to be a twist. Why is there a megalodon? I should be asking why wouldn't there be a megalodon? I swam to a piece of wood in the water, but the shark was circling me. I waited there for the day, and decided to make a run for it. Eventually, I made it to the ship, and on the next day, I had a plan. I moved the ship closer to the shark so i would get the effects from the beacon and we faced off okay this was this was stupid why am i why am i fighting a shark this was a dumb it's literally eating the wood dude bro i am get dead get this thing away from me get away shark i ran away and then ran closer to the shark hitting it i could finally say it was over i thought i was how am i alive i thought i was dead just now after defeating the megalodon i ended up finding a chest filled with emeralds and gold looted it and brought it back to the ship the next day it was time to celebrate on the land of atlantis right now the whole world thinks I've just disappeared in a plane crash. Little do they know I'm out here on an island filled with mermaids. Okay, what the heck is going on? I cannot move. Okay. Okay, I'm getting sketchy vibes right now. Never mind. Those are not mermaids. Nope. Definitely not mermaids. Yep. Turns out I got catfished by some mermaids that are actually snakes trying to kill me. Of course. Of course it couldn't be peaceful. Everywhere I walked, I was pulled in and had to face off against whatever this thing is. Bruh, I, I cannot jump. I literally have to mine all the way to wherever this thing's pulling me to. Turns out this was a death island. Look at this thing. No, bro, not this again. Day and night, I fought off the mermaid things, and today, I went into a building. This place was filled with them. I don't even like the singing at this point. Like, it was okay at first, but nah, dude. Eventually, I took 
them all out and made it to the top of the building. Okay, all this for one chest. This chest better be good. Siren flute? What the heck? Bro, you're telling me I gotta listen to their singing everywhere I go now? I used their own weapon against them and swam down the tower. Now, it's day 99 and I had an amazing idea. Yo, you see this big coliseum thing? What if I put the big coliseum on my boat? I spent the whole day mining around this little tower thing and eventually made it possible to add to the ship. Okay, my ship is- <laughs> we are definitely breaking the laws of physics here. And now, it was day 100. I conquered all the mysterious places within the Bermuda Triangle and brought them all along with me in a big ship. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because next time, we're going to Area 51. And big thanks to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description down below to download Dragon City and claim your epic rewards all for free. What What are you waiting for? You still haven't downloaded it? It's, it's literally right there.